So oftentimes when you're building a website, you need to very quickly and easily set up a web server so you can test something like with fetch. You want to make an Ajax call and you need to have some data and you need to know if your script is running properly. So what I've got here is a very basic example web page. I've got two different folders and what I want to do is I want to pretend that these are different domains. So I have an HTML file with a little bit of JavaScript sitting on one server. And then in the other folder, I have this JSON file. So I want to fetch that JSON file, have it come back and have it behave as it normally would with cores settings. So cross origin resource sharing issues that I would normally come across. So how do I do that? Well, there's a very quick and easy answer to this. In my script right here, what I've got set up is that I'm going to access something over HTTP at this domain. So this IP address, which is just an IP address for my computer on my network, so on my Wi-Fi network. But when I use the live preview here from brackets, this is the page that I'm coming to. So localhost, and this time it's port 63,957. So randomly selected port. I'm on localhost with this port number. In the folder videos, I'm getting the file getdata.html. My script is trying to run, and this is the error message that I'm getting back. And that's my catch on the fetch. So I'm trying to fetch this address. I'm trying to get this JSON file, but it's failing. So it's writing out the message failed to fetch. If I come over here, this is the URL that I'm trying to get. Refresh, nothing, it's not working right now. So I want to, set up a server pointed at this folder right here this folder called sum i want to have this pretend to be a web server so i can get this file and i need to also set the cores heading so it comes back here's our quick and easy solution this http server it's one of a bunch of uh, node written web servers that you can quickly and easily launch so i like this one http server I will go to my terminal and you can see that right now I'm inside my folder called videos. So I'm in the get data folder. What I want to do is I want to go up to the sum folder. So I'm sitting right here where this file is. So we'll go up one level and then I will switch into my sum folder. LS, there we are. There's the file. This is the correct folder. This is where I want to be. Now from node, I could do this. I could do npm install globally uh, HTTP server, install it and then run it. And that's fine if you want to do that. The only issue with this is a lot of these servers and other node modules get updated fairly frequently. I don't want to have to do that and I don't want to have to install it either. So I'm just going to use npx, which is a quick little command line tool that you get when you install npm. It allows you to download into memory this package so it's going to download and tell node hey I want you to run this little package so this node module is going to run without me having to actually install it inside my folder so npx HTTP server and for this one because I want it to act like um, a normal web server does with cores issues I'm going to say this this is going to send the access control allow origin header for me to my web page so that my script will work. So enter, this downloads it, starts it running, and here's the address. So I can do this and it's going through localhost or this address, which means if I've got my mobile device, so my phone or something else, which is connected to the same network as my laptop, if they're on the same Wi-Fi, I can use this address from my phone or my tablet to access the same web page. So that's what I'm doing here. Now that I've got this running, there it is. There's the page coming up. And it's just because I did this. npx HTTP server dash dash cores. So now the HTTP server is starting. It started uh, and it will give me lists of everything, you know, all the things that are being requested from it. Uh, favicon.ico, I don't have that in the folder, so that's sending back a 404 error. But this worked, the data file. And now over here, 
this script, which is using that address right there, if I run it, there we go. Now I'm on localhost with that port number, and I can put localhost instead of the IP address. This should still work. Yep, there we are. So I'm on localhost with that port number, and I'm going to 192.168.2.40. That just happens to be the IP address of my laptop right now, and I can get get to the data file and bring it back. And if we're checking, if I inspect this page, and I come over to the network tab, I refresh this. Here's the request for the data file. I'll zoom in here. And we can see the access control allow header, the origin header was being set. Access control allow origin with the asterisk. That's what's being set. If I had started this without that header, so without the cores option set, so the file's available now. If I come back here, I refresh this. Yep, file's still available. But now, if I try to get this, I get the error. And it is simply because that header was not being set. So in the console, I get the error message about access control allow origin failing. So make sure when you're starting it up with the HTTP server, make sure you add this option onto the end so that your fetch calls work. All right, so I hope that helps you out. I hope you find that useful at some point to test out some code without having to uh, start up Apache or do something else. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.